Well, I like a Hindu as much as the next gal, but this one just got totally messy. Why? What happened? By the end of the night, the maid of honour had fallen off the table, chucked up in her handbag and got thrown out the club. Nice. And the bride-to-be ended up going back to the hotel with one of the male strippers. Well, that's not good. I know. He was minging. So, did I miss anything while I was away? Ah, you could say that. Uh, Leo asked me to marry him. I said yes, and we're moving to Canada. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Shut up! <laughs> no, I don't believe you! Oh, I told you there was someone out there for everyone, even for you. <laughs> you cheeky guy. <gang. laughs> oh, I'm, I'm made up for you both, really. Thanks. Well, oh, there were a few bumps along the way. Oh, how do you mean? Well, we'd split up. Only for a day. Yeah, but still, technically, we had officially split up, so... Well, the important thing is that you're back together now. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Okay, I need to sort a few bits of business and maybe try and get hold of Stephen if I can. What for? You know, butter him up. See if his company can throw a bit of business my way. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. What? I'm really happy for you. And he is lucky to have you. Give over. Right, well, I need to go and make some calls about this football match I'm organising against the Flying Horse. Do you know, I'm starting to wish I hadn't bothered. Well, I'll leave you to it. Have fun. I always do. <laughs> What's up with you? Nothing. Why? Well, you just don't seem your normal self. You mean Gobby and an iron. You said it, not me. I'm just a bit peed off that I go away for two days and I miss all the excitement. Well, I didn't know that Leo was going to propose, did I? You are sure about all this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, it's just... If I tell you something, you can't tell anybody else, all right? Yeah, OK. You know how we split up? Yeah, for like a day. Well, whilst we were apart, I got drunk and snogged Stephen. Audrey Stephen? Yes. I feel terrible about it. Oh, and I'm guessing Leo doesn't know. No, but I'm thinking of telling him. Why? I mean, it was just a snog, right? Nothing else happened. No, of course not. Because Gemma came in and caught us. Seriously? All right, I'm not exactly proud of myself. Look, you were on a break, right? Mm. So if you want my advice, just, just forget it ever happened and, and do not tell Leo. Yeah. yeah. No point rocking the boat, eh? No. No. Not like she's going to start suggesting all these different positions right there in the cab office, is it? Another lads. Yeah, but not so. Go on then. I'll go mad. I'll have a pineapple juice. You are crazy. Just shut up about it, will you? Especially in public. Ah, here he is, our secret weapon. What are you having to drink, sweetheart? Uh, just an OJ for me, please. Pull it up. OJ, you see, treats his body like a temple, that kid. Yeah, like me. Well, you can elbow the pint. You can have a fruit juice yourself. Well, no, she's in the middle of pouring it now. Thanks for doing this for us, James. Ah, oh, it'll be mint. Uh, what time does he get in here? Uh, about ten minutes. I just wanted to have a pre-training chat. You know, discuss tactics. And what are your tactics? Uh, to win. I realise. For these drinks, this round's costing me a blooming fortune. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm game. Well, no, I can't afford that. I'm a student. Yeah, you drink like one and all. I can give you a pint pot for it if you want. Can we all just shut up about the drinks and listen to our expert here? We are very lucky to have a professional coaching us. Right, so I was thinking... To be fair, they should be on the house, you know, cos this is the Rovers football team, after all. Fine. First drink is on the Rovers, and then you're on your own. That's it. James? Thanks. So, is everybody here, yeah? Yeah, Brian, he sends his apologies. What? Well, where is it? This is important, this. Then there's, I mean, there's a tongue scrape to his ear pierced over. I uh, weren't really listening. <coughs> That's yours. Oh, mine's a shandy. There's yours. Thanks, Jen. You can thank me by shutting up and letting the boss talk. Right, OK. So, I was thinking of putting either Amy or Sean up front. You what? Well, I think they're probably the fastest here. Just going by body type. <laughs> well, I vote for Amy, cos she'll beat these old bones, that's for sure. A poo striker, Amy? Yeah. Mm, mm. Oh, no, no, that's sweet cider. What, I'm a 15? 
What, what, what did you ask for? Bitter. Well, I'll change it then. No, 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 no. I'll do this. You just carry on with your uh, tactics, pep talk, training, whatever this is. No, I need a wise any help. I'll tell you what, mate, I'll have to watch this match. Looks like it's going to be a right laugh. Yeah. Listen, thanks for that little chat earlier. Oh, with the old... <whistles> yeah. Well, I didn't think I had that much help, to be honest, mate, but... No, it's, it's, it's good to talk about it with a mate. Yeah, it means a lot. This is a lost cause, this. It's like herding cats. Mm. What you need is something to give them a bit of incentive, you know? Draw the team together. Like what? A good attendance badge? Well, I don't know. I mean, what I know about football, you could put on the back of a beer mat, but... I seem very half-hearted about it all. Shouldn't there be, like, a, a prize or something? Hello?